Atom Smasher is regarded as the boogeyman and legend of Night City, but why would the strongest being in Night City take orders from Arasaka? In this short video, I'll break down Atom Smasher's true motivations in cyberpunk edgerunners. Number 1. He was saved by Arasaka Back in the early 2000s, Smasher had taken on a job as a mercenary that resulted in him being hit by an RPG blast, reducing him to mush. Arasaka then offered him a choice, die or become a full-body cyborg, but becoming a cyborg would mean serving Arasaka's interests for the rest of his life. With little regard for his humanity and not many options, Adam chose corporate service and a metal body. I believe Adam was reminded of being given this choice in the final moments we see with David. He appears to offer David the same choice, but this strikes me as odd for someone who hates all semblance of humanity. Number 2. It's his dream job. Adam Smasher makes it no secret that he delights in the act of killing. He finds joy in destruction and slaughter, which we can deduce from hearing his triumphant robotic voice. Arasaka has Adam Sandler do their dirty work, using him to tie up loose ends. Adam Sandler actually negotiated for higher collateral damage as one of the terms in his contract with Arasaka. They essentially grant him a get out of jail free card to do what he loves most. Arasaka acts as his patron and legal team, granting him legal immunity for his sadistic hobby. This is a really twisted and demented win-win, but makes sense as to why Adam would follow their orders. Number 3. Cutting Edge Cyberware I'm sure Arasaka would want their Grim Reaper well armed and chromed up with the latest technology. As part of his deal with Arasaka, Adam gets access to top of the line tech. His incredible tolerance of cyberware also makes him a great candidate to use prototypes and products still in development. This could be a double-edged sword though as now Adam is essentially indentured to his masters for repair and maintenance. The exclusivity of some of his upgrades most likely means it would be wise for him to stay on Arasaka's good side. Number 4. He wants a world of cyborgs. Smasher looks down on organic beings. Well really all beings, but organic beings specifically. It's said that he never wants to downgrade the flesh and despises any reminder of his humanity. It's speculated that he even wants to trim the fat, so to speak, by eliminating all non-cyborgs. This could be the classic, only the strong deserve to live mindset. It's no secret that Adam Smasher is special and gifted, but what would happen if he went up against someone even more special? Number 5. The Desire for Power Adam Sandler's obsession with power could possibly be fueled by his incredible compatibility with cyberware. Maybe there's a part of him that wants to see just how far he can go. Adam Smasher later becomes the head of security for Arasaka, one of the largest mega corporations in the world. It's safe to say that this gig comes with a few perks in terms of power. Whether it's gratitude, a get out of jail free card, some sweet upgrades, or the ability to create a more crumbed up society, this seems like a pretty good deal for our favorite intimidating robotic sociopath. Still, he's rather full of himself and it seems like he wouldn't hesitate to go against orders, which makes him even more interesting. Maybe Arasaka has some kind of kill switch to keep him in check. I'm Bumper Jumper, dedicated to exploring the deepest and most profound stories in anime, video games, movies, and TV shows. I'd love to hear your theories and opinions on this, so make sure to geek out in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next one.